Amagi Metals, where financial freedom is yours. You guys hear about a lot of stuff around here happening, or? Yeah, uh-huh, just nice life. This is? Rainbow, people, you get killed at the right house. Houses. People shooting people. What's up? Have you ever uh, heard gunshots going off in your, around your house, or? Uh-huh, right down there. Delaware. Is that where a lot of stuff happens? D block. D block? East of D. There's a lot of stuff going on on the east side. <laughs> Do the police come around here much or? Yeah. Do they just uh, stop people for no reason or are they are they actually going after people who are? Uh... They stop people for no reason. In 1993, Gary, Indiana was the murder capital of the U.S. Unlike other cities contending for the top spot, such as Baltimore and New Orleans, Gary is not a major metropolitan area that's home to millions of people. Its population peaked at just over 175,000 in the 1960s, and has since sunk to its current low of under 80,000 residents. It's a war zone over here, you know? It's a war zone. But I know it's senseless, and I just wish this city would do something about all these people dying, because we have to live here. We have had a problem with homicides this year. Uh, we're up 38% in homicides. But the flip side of that is that we're down in shootings. We, we have had 45 less people shot this year. So we're down 45% in shootings. What we're finding out is that more of the individuals are dying at the scene. Multiple gunshot wounds. Uh, we've had three incidents with multiple victims. We've had two double homicides. We've had a triple homicides. By Indiana standards, Gary is also saturated with police with 2.5 officers per thousand, compared to the state's average of 1.8 per thousand. With an astonishingly high rate of burglaries, robberies, and homicides, how are police resources being utilized? Until the governor uh, decides if he's going to send people here. And if he can't send manpower, we would like to uh, be the recipient of some type of grants that would assist us uh, with fighting crime, whether it's uh, 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 seatbelt, uh, enforce seatbelt missions or uh, any type of traffic enforcement. So uh, that's what we're trying to do. City Hall stands right across from a former hotel. During Gary's peak years, places like this would become a temporary home for out of towners visiting this place. The hotel is now deteriorating, there are no windows left, and the police car is outside making sure squatters don't get in. There's no other hotel left in this town. They ain't protecting nothing, man. They ain't protecting nothing. People feel like shit taking us in their own hands before they call the police. Because they ain't gonna say, why you gonna call them? Man? The only thing you gonna get is a scene. Yeah, That's yeah, it. Right. A whole bunch of police cars and they gone is over with. Still stuck at six that one. Yeah. People handle their stuff out here now. They said fuck it. Church in the liquor store crowd. 911 is a joke, don't die. This is the fourth homicide in like five or six days. So uh, I am concerned about the number of shootings and homicides that we're having. So uh, this is just one of the things that we're doing to try to combat violence here in this community. Since we got a new police chief, Chief uh, Wade Ingram, is that any time we have a homicide, we actually come out to the location to have an outdoor roll call. We're not just going to put down some yellow tape, remove a body and not come back again. We, we're concerned, we're dedicated and making the city safer, so. Would it not be preferable to have a single competent homicide detective working a scene, over 20 officers just walking around? You call the police out here and tell them this motherfucker shooting over here, you see somebody getting shot at, it's gonna take them 30 minutes to an hour to come. Motherfucker be dead on the road somewhere. And they just don't care. They don't care. They just throw a piece of plastic over them, wrap them up, throw them in the paper. Yeah. It's wow. over with. Don't even be investigating shit or nothing like that. I, you know what I'm saying? So much. I done lost too many of my friends, I don't even know who did it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I done lost a couple of my niggas too by having little packs on them. You know what I'm saying? They locked them up, just throw them in a jail. You know what I'm saying? And but you, you ain't out here something. trying to find the motherfuckers that's out here killing people, breaking yeah, people's right. houses every day. But they want to. You want to bully the people that's doing good. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? They be harassing the wrong people. They know where the area's at. They know where it's cracking at. They stay out the mirrors. Yeah. Like this is one of the areas they stay out of. Well, what we found out is that a lot of these shootings are retaliatory. Some are domestic. Some are gang related. Some are drug related. But Quite a few of them are retaliatory in nature. Many of the victims being black males between the ages of 16 and 25, the evidence suggests that Gary's violence reflects more unintended consequences of the drug war. We're well, trying to figure out if people, what people's opinions are of the police, if people trust them or if they're more afraid of the police. I don't trust them. Gary yeah. police? Do you think they're, uh, they're involved in a lot of the crime that goes on Hell around yeah. here? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, most definitely. I know a couple of them sell weed. 
Shit, you know what I'm saying? They be around here harassing the motherfuckers that messing up they spot, making yeah. they spots hot. Why the guys up to my desk do all the time? That's what I can understand. His name is Jermaine, you know what I'm saying? And still like air police officers in here and stop him. They're catching around, he's off the air. And so, do you feel that they're focusing more on they younger young people? That's all I gotta say. You know, it's, it's wrong. Yeah, yeah. To be focused uh, on these teenagers like that. And like I said, half of Gary right. teenagers smoke blunt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, smoking cannabis. I declare like, they legalize. They smoke yeah. legalize yeah. pretty soon. I declare yeah. they do that. Maybe they stop these young kids back. Do you think people are just generally afraid of the police? Like afraid to talk to the police at all? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. You think that they could that be they be snitching on themselves? They, they, you know what I'm saying? They don't know who they. You know what I'm saying? They don't know who is who. The big thing is sustainability. Uh, the governor is concerned. Our federal law enforcement agencies are concerned. When they pull out, what's going to happen to Gary? If, once those 90 days expire, what do we have in place to sustain our crime rate? So long as authorities in Gary continue to perpetuate the drug war, their high crime rate will be sufficiently sustained.